my channel I am currently in our office and I'm very excited because we are finally getting in some more storage here we have ordered some um, cabinets that are gonna go here we've been wanting these for the last few months but they've been sold out which is very odd they're from Ikea they're actually the PAX wardrobe which we also have another set of here it is the one that's not as deep it's the 35 centimeter one I'll show you guys where it's gonna go in a sec but yeah, it's been sold out for the longest time and now they finally had it. Yeah, I'm very excited that they are finally gonna go here. So this is the area here where the new cabinets are gonna go. We also have this set, so it's actually the same design. Just these are a little bit deeper since this wall kind of has like an in shape. It's like a little nook, so this piece actually fit perfectly there. So it's going to be approximately this size i believe and this shelf is actually always very full with our products new samples things we're working on and developing so that we can see them as we're sitting here like it's all very clear for us so i've just quickly packed all of that away so that it can still stay as a surprise for you guys but yeah this piece is going to go and then i've got some of my filming things in here some lighting that we use for when we do pictures so that's all going to be nice and tucked away now and here are all the parts for this closet, some more things over there. Okay, so this is what we planned out. I love this um, PAX planning system on IKEA. This is how we did all of our wardrobes as well. Super helpful. You can move all of these around, play with the drawers. They have all different like options here. So I would definitely recommend this system if you're looking for a good wardrobe setup or just general storage in your home. And here it is complete. How cool is that? I am so happy with this it's so important to have good storage so that you feel like you know your things are more organized easy to find so we've got the glossy white door with a matte black handle and that's a, a theme that we have pretty much throughout our entire apartment so it just looks really nice and sleek i love it and this is what it looks like from this view Okay, I've just changed. I'm about to meet a friend of mine and quickly wanted to show you my outfit. We're actually going to be doing some home organization things at her place too. She's the one with the baby, so I'm going to be helping out as she like puts away things. See, I'm still dressed very comfy, but I feel a little bit more put together. These jeans are from Zara. They are relatively new. This rib top is from Pretty Little Thing, but a few years ago. So I will see if I can have some similar ones linked for you guys down below. This shirt is from Zara. It's a nice like oversized kind of shirt and then my jewelry is actually from a new brand called monica vinader i'm obsessed with this necklace i believe this is called their dania heirloom necklace 
so pretty it has this really nice like vintage kind of like super classic feel to it it's so nice i also have the bracelet as you can see here and this one that i have on underneath is the doina snake chain necklace i also really love this gold cross ring the details are so so pretty crosses like that and I like to wear it on my index finger. All of their jewelry is actually made from 100% recycled sterling silver and 18 karat gold vermeil, which I think is really unique to find in the jewelry space and their designs are so beautiful as well. Really nice like classic gold pieces and the quality of these are really nice as well. They're not going to tarnish or turn different colors. They're all 18 karat gold plated vermeil and I feel like they're at a really good price point as well and I think their styles and their designs are so cool especially again this heirloom necklace so in love with the bracelet as well kind of looks like a cartier watch almost definitely has that beautiful classic feel to it and again the ring if you guys want to try out any of their jewelry they are offering all my viewers 20 percent off there will be a link down below in the description box you click on that that will take you to the site and you will get 20 percent off also quickly before i head out i wanted to chat with you guys about my new workout routine i shared with you guys about about two months ago that I was really into my walks. I think a lot of that had to do with it being summer and the weather being really nice and me just wanting to be outside as much as possible. And there's a really beautiful park where we live and that's where I go almost every single day for my walks. And it's so nice and green and luscious and just so beautiful there. So I love spending time there. But recently, the weather has been changing. Of course, it's fall now. And the mornings are actually getting pretty chilly. So I have been feeling very like intuitively that I don't really want to go outside first thing in the morning if I have to like really bundle myself up. I still will do that a few times per week. But I have really been craving to get back into my weighted workouts. Yeah, I was just feeling this desire in my body to kick it up a notch, challenge myself. When it comes to weighted workouts, I'm still really loving Sammy Clark. She actually just launched a new platform called Form and it's so good you guys. I used to do her IGTV workouts which are still amazing. I do still go back to those sometimes if I just want to switch it up but her new platform is so beautiful. It's online and I love her workouts. I feel like they are very effective and she doesn't use like crazy heavy weights. I'm still using my dumbbells that I have shared with you guys in the past and I just feel like the way she does her workouts it doesn't feel very long they are about 30 minutes so they're not very long at all but her energy combined with the music and the, like the movements i feel like it goes by really quick and i just really enjoy her as a person so if you guys have not checked out sammy clark yet definitely do and i kind of rotate between doing full body to lower body sometimes upper body and i've been doing like three ish workouts Per week i do also want to say that i think it's really important to listen to your body and to know where you are in your cycle because that tremendously affects our output in terms of like how hard we can push ourselves you know how sensitive our bodies are if you guys have not seen my video on this topic i will have it linked for you guys down below i would definitely recommend checking it out but basically if i'm in the first part of my cycle so i'm done with my period i'm in my follicular phase that is when we have the most energy and the most ability to build muscle so that's when i really focus on using weights in my workouts and pushing myself a little bit more and when i say pushing myself i don't mean at all like anything torturous but just you know like challenging myself feeling really good you know seeing what my body can do and going beyond like my mind's limits and then after ovulation when you're in your luteal phase that is when our body is more of like a rest and repair mode so it's been shown that we're not really good at building muscle in this phase just due to the different hormones that are more at play so it takes us a little bit longer to recover if we're really pushing ourselves and we can actually waste muscle in this phase so in this phase our bodies benefit better from low impact workouts like pilates yoga walking so a week of workouts will definitely look different depending on you know which phase of the cycle i'm in when i am doing pilates and yoga i'm still really loving boho beautiful and melissa would help let me know what work Workouts you guys really enjoy let me know down below in the comments are you guys going back to gyms are you working out from home what phase of workouts are you guys in right now in your life 
like are you in a more slow phase are you really challenging yourself like what's going on in your workout life let me know down below but yeah you guys know i've talked about this a lot like listening to your body for a while there i was just really not into doing like normal workouts i really just enjoyed being outside in nature again i do think it had a lot to do with the weather because where i live it's very seasonal so i know in the summer that's like my chance to be outside as much as possible get lots of sunshine fresh air and just be in that nice energy in that nice environment and i think my body really knew that so i was going out for walks like once a day twice a day and i would still consider those like kind of workouts because i would be walking around 10,000 steps a day which is like a hour and a half walk and i felt really really good doing that but now i'm feeling for that more of a challenge you know and i think focusing on the way that it makes you feel at the end so sometimes if i know i want to be working out doing a strength training workout but maybe i'm procrastinating a little bit i just think about how it's going to make me feel so amazing when i'm I'm done and how strong I'm gonna feel those post-workout endorphins that feel so amazing the shower that you take afterwards is always the best so I try to think about that and let that motivate me to you know get to my mat also you're taking care of yourself you know you're taking care of your body you're showing up for yourself which is so powerful for your self-confidence too there are just endless benefits to working out and again making sure that you're working out in your way in the way that feels good for you you know making sure that you're taking that time to really take care of yourself take care of your body that is where you live and it makes you feel so strong beyond just like the physical benefits of it making you feel really like toned and strong in your body it's such a important thing for your mental and emotional health as well and yeah i've just really been enjoying um my strength training workouts again anyway i will have all of the people and the workouts that i mentioned down below in the description box if you guys want to check them out i'm now going to head out and meet my friend help her with her apartment with her baby and I will see you guys a little bit later pumpkin spice smoothie for breakfast this is the one that i shared in my most recent what i eat in a day i'll have that video linked for you guys down below if you want to check it out but it is so so yummy okay so i am continuing with the office organization today and i'm currently here by our tv we've got this unit here that has a lot of our electronics lots of cables and things like that this drawer is such a mess please excuse but that is what i am doing today so i am going to be taking
taking these to our office and just clearing out the space so that all of these kinds of things are in one place here we also have some wrapping some more filming things that are also going to go into the office and then we have some like board games and stuff like that in this one so i'm excited to just get this cleaned out and we're actually getting a new sideboard in a few weeks that i'm so excited for it's pretty similar to this one but it is in wood so i think it's going to go better with the rest of our apartment and I'm still very much in my cleaning and organizing mode but I took out this um, basket that I had in my wardrobe and this is usually full but I'm going through everything and I'm getting so emotional <laughs> this is actually a box where I keep all of my like memorabilia things cards photos things from my childhood um, and just things that are sentimental to me some gifts that Mo have got me for my birthday but like sentimental gifts for example this book he made this for one of my birthdays and it's really sweet he printed lots of different uh, pictures of us and he wrote little things um, next to each photo and I love stuff like this like oh it's so sweet and I haven't gone through all of this stuff in so long I have cards from my little siblings when they were really young and their handwriting is like all you know so cute and just Oh, I've also kept the tag from my wedding dress from Galia Lahav and it says my name in it which I thought was pretty cool. I am sorting the things out into this little folder so it's like an expandable folder. So now I'm placing all the cards and things that are slim within there so I have like all of our wedding cards and things like that in a compartment. This is a beautiful letter from one of my friends. I'm also going to put that into a compartment and I think this is actually a nice way to organize things like that. Of course, you know, if they're like bigger pieces that doesn't really work but for cards, letters or anything like that, I think this could be a really great way to organize stuff like that. Do you guys keep memorabilia and sentimental things? If so, how do you store them? As I mentioned before, I used to put everything into this wicker basket and I might still use this for a few of the things, but I'm now gonna put it into one of the cabinets in the office so that I have more space in my wardrobe because it was a little chunky in there. But I am such a sucker for cards. This is a card from our anniversary. Mo and I are big card writers, or I don't know if he was before but he knows that's something i really like oh my god this is from my little sister a christmas card how cute but yeah i love cards so much and it's really fun to just go through everything it makes me happy we also have so many polaroids oh my gosh this is my driving license from new jersey when i lived in new york ah obviously expired but i think that's a fun memory so i'm also going to keep that i'm going to continue going through this maybe shed a tear or so <laughs> try not to get too emotional but yeah it is really fun to go through all of this This is from one of my little siblings. I'm not sure who exactly made this because there's no name, but how cute is that? I just cannot throw away stuff like that. Oh my god.
<laughs> Our first time in London together, we went on the Big Eye. London Eye. Cute. Ooh, this is from when I graduated, 2012 from FIT. It is almost eight o'clock as you can see it is dark outside and I'm finally done <laughs> this was definitely a much bigger project than I anticipated but I'm really happy that I went through every single thing I'll show you guys a few parts that you might find interesting okay so first to give you guys a little orientation this is the first section so this is mostly my things makeup beauty products my books we do have some office supplies at the bottom of this one as well since I didn't need all of the space these are just for our brand nourish 3 so I won't show you in there because we've got like new product we're working on different packaging and things like that and then these two here are electronics lighting camera equipment all cables and things like that I will show you one part which might be of interest so this is where we have our cables I organize them in these little baggies these are just um, small ziploc bags and these are some larger ones just so that the cables are not you know floating all around and getting tangled up and jumbled with the other things so I think this is a really good thing I'm sure it could be even more organized and look even nicer but for us this works really well and of course you know Mo and I live together and this works for him too hopefully <laughs> but going back to this side this is where I have my makeup I also have my books in here and a few crystals I really really love this part of the space and then in this first drawer is where I have all of my makeup so I actually had this split up into two drawers before but I went through everything and I tried to minimize as much as possible of course I don't wear all of this makeup all the time you know I have my classics that I reach for but if I want to try something different or switch it up then I have the option too so this is all the makeup that I own which I think is pretty good it does go a little bit back in there as well but I do love this way of organizing things so I love these little acrylic containers you can get these on Amazon I'll have them linked for you guys and you can sort them kind of like Tetris style and make it fit perfectly to your drawer and I separate them by product type so powders bronzers blush and highlight some face products lip eyeshadows and then here I've got lip pencils eye pencils and brows I am thinking of maybe putting some photos up here or some nice quotes or like little reminders or so just to have to look at as I get ready in the morning and I actually really like having my books there too just as a little reminder as I'm standing here getting ready I love this mirror this is an adhesive mirror which is amazing you can just pop this into any door and I've got the natural light from the window so it's just a very perfect space for me but yeah there's still so much more that we want to do in this office but the addition of these closets are amazing and I'm so happy about them this apartment it's so beautiful and we love it but it didn't have a lot of built-in storage so we had to put that in ourselves and it makes the world of difference so very happy about that but yeah as we continue developing this space i will make sure to update you guys maybe you'll find some inspiration along the way but yeah this is what it looks like right now 
just very simple, nice and calm to work in, but we definitely want to do some adjustments very soon. I'm gonna wrap up this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check the description box down below for links to things that I mentioned or talked about. Make sure to check down below. I hope that you guys are all having a beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.